I so enjoyed reading your new book, Enchantment. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, I, want, I wondered if it would be... I, I was thinking it would be great if women entrepreneurs could enchant venture capitalists. <laughs> it's such a great concept and word, really. Um, Free so, work. Yeah. yeah, kudos on you for coming up with it. So I wondered if I could ask you some questions about the shortfall in funding for women in line with the themes of the book. And one of the issues that women entrepreneurs face is the fact that they're different from the funders to whom they're pitching, that is not white and male. <laughs> <laughs> How could we achieve likability and trustworthiness? Well, I don't know if uh, women entrepreneurs, I, I wouldn't say it's you know, their fault and that they have to achieve likability and trustworthiness because they haven't achieved it so far. In this case, this particular instance, it may be the fault of the receiver, not the sender, if you know what I mean. No, and, and really, I'm not pointing any fingers in yeah, this project, that's okay. but, but I'm, I'm really uh, getting some really valuable information from everyone, both the women founders, venture capitalists, and angel investors, mm -hmm. and you know that is adding value to the female startup community. Okay. So, so I was just thinking about your model, really, in the book, and I was just uh -huh. wondering if we could, if you could adapt that and, and give me some suggestions. Well, the the model in the book is that the three pillars are likability, trustworthiness, and the product. Mm. And I'll tell you, as a venture capitalist, a male venture capitalist, though obviously not white, um, one thing you can depend on from venture capitalists, one quality all the time is greed. Okay. Greed is, I don't know if it's greed is good, but greed is consistent. And so um, what an entrepreneur to, needs to do of any gender is appeal to the greed of the venture capitalists. And I don't mean in the sense of, you know, surreptitiously taking stuff as much as 90% of the decision is made because the venture capitalist falls in love with the product or service and okay. sees that he or she can make a lot of money with it. Okay. And so, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of all people pitching to a venture capitalist are rejected. And so, uh, I, you shouldn't think, oh, I was rejected because I was black, white, male, female, gay, gay, you know, of lesbian, course. whatever. The odds are you're going to be rejected, yeah, so don't yeah. take it personally. Okay, that's a good point. Um, and the key is show them how your product or service will succeed. Okay. And, and I'll tell you that I think that most venture capitalists, if you were to show how your product will succeed, they won't care if you are male, female, black, white, brown, yellow, purple, straight, gay, us. bi, yeah, <laughs> hetero, homo, whatever. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah, care. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just okay. want to make money. Okay. So, so, so that's a really good point. Yeah, so yeah. people should keep their focus on that. Yeah. And um, if you believe in your mind that you're getting rejected because you're a woman, yeah, or black, or yeah. white, or, you know, you're, you're kind of defeated already. Yeah, you're um, going to create that reality and undermine So, confidence. So the most important thing you could do for a pitch yes. is, you know, f the fundamentals of likability, you know, good smile, good handshake, appropriate dress, uh, trustworthiness, that you have this open mind, that you are defaulting to a yes and positive attitude, okay. that you want to make a bigger pie, not just take a larger slice of an existing pie. Okay. And then the third pillar is in a pitch, the most important, which is your product. Right. Is it good? Right. And the most important way to prove that is a demo. Great. Okay. And so, you know, so many entrepreneurs believe that the starting point of entrepreneurship is PowerPoint or Word or Excel. They are so wrong. The mm -hmm. starting point is Drupal or PHP or your compiler yes. or you know, Autodesk. Yes. It's, it's not Excel, Word, or, or PowerPoint. Okay. And, um, and, and this is especially true now because yeah, other than life sciences, and if, if, if you're gonna create this humongous you know, act of computing, that takes decades of research and all that. Well, first of all, you shouldn't even go to a VC for that. But anyway, <laughs> but you know, within reason, a tech startup today is in the best position it's ever been because 
almost everything you need is free or cheap. So we just go down the list. Right. Callous as this may seem, in this recession, people are free or cheap. Yeah. Just yeah. the way it is. Okay? Yeah. Marketing, if you use Twitter and Facebook and blogs, it's free or cheap. Yeah. I mean, you really, you know, I guess you could hire a PR firm and spend $20,000 a month so that an Oriental art history major from Wellesley will be working for you. Okay, I understand that, but you know, I think that's a waste of money. Yes. So, marketing is free or cheap. Yes. Now, we need infrastructure. An infrastructure before meant you'd have two locations with 50 servers on racks. Today, yes. it means you call up Amazon and you go with Amazon services or you use Rackspace. So infrastructure, the cloud is free or cheap. Uh, and then, you know, what else do you need? You need office space. Office space itself is much cheaper now. And arguably you don't need office space because everybody's working virtually. Mm -hmm. So there goes office space. <laughs> so, you know, we're pretty, okay, so the last thing is tools. Right. In the old days, you'd have to spend a million dollars and buy a tool from Oracle so you could have a database, right? Now there's MySQL, ironically now owned by Oracle. Um, there's all these Drupal tools, this you know PHP, all this stuff. I mean, it's hard to pay for a tool today. Yes. You'd really have to work at it, yes. right? Yes. So we've just gone down the list. People, real estate, marketing, infrastructure, and tools, all free or cheap. Right. So you have no excuse if you show up to a venture capitalist without a prototype. Without a demo, okay. And that's, that's, and pe the expectation is you show up with a prototype. Yes. The day of, well, this is my envelope and this is my vision of the future and if you give me $2 million and leave me alone for a year, I'll come back and show you what I have. Yes. <laughs> that day is gone. gone. Yeah. It's gone, yeah. gone yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 And maybe in life sciences, you can say, well, you know, we're gonna find the cure for cancer give us 10 years, okay, yes. even that I doubt, but you yes. know, okay, but you know, yes. give us $2 million in two years and we'll come back with a, you know, Facebook killer? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm also told that women often lack confidence and aggressiveness uh, from the compilation of my interviews. Yes. Um, how can we prepare pitches and launch our startups to enchant? You've already covered the, the issue of demos and I totally agree mm -hmm. with you on that mm -hmm. and prototypes. Is there anything else that we could do to um, bolster our confidence and be a little well, bit more aggressive to to encourage that trustworthiness in these days, Nigel? Well, the, the best way to do it is to have a good reality. Okay. <laughs> you know, so um, enchantment is not about putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah. And so, uh, I, I, so it's about authenticity. Well, is what you're saying. Uh, well, authenticity. The connotation of authenticity is that the opposite is inauthentic, where you're lying or you're acting like something you're not. Pretending. Okay, so no, you may be a shy person. I'm not suggesting that you take, you know, a lot of caffeine and some, <laughs> you know, I don't know, speed or something, and all of a sudden you're a hyper aggressive. Yeah. That's not the point. Yeah. The point is to be what you are okay. and you may be passive, you may be shy, you may be effacing, you may be bold. Okay. Um, I, I don't think all women should say, Ugh, you know, we didn't get that funding because we weren't bold enough. Because, well, we haven't got enough to test her on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, certainly not that because you know what, 99.9% .9 of the men are getting rejected too. So what are they saying? We're not feminine enough? You know, we're Gosh. not whatever. I mean, God. let's just face it. Most people get rejected. Yes. Don't take it personally. Yes, yes. So um, my, my thing is that you be what you are and what you're comfortable with. Okay. And now what would boost confidence, because I can't build a case where you should act not confident, you know. Yes. What yeah. would boost confidence is if you really know your stuff. What a concept. So, and, and also have passion for it. I yes. see that, that that just is an instant yes. confidence. So yeah. if you if you really know your stuff, okay. meaning that you could really demo your product, and th this is one instance where if the CEO doesn't know her stuff yeah. and has to turn to her CTO yes. to do the demo, whose yeah. fault is that that yeah. she's not confident? Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Especially if the CTO is male. Whose fault is that? Yeah, got it. And so it's it's preparation and it's knowing your stuff. And 
to be able, when, when a venture capitalist sits across this table and says, who's your competition? Does the CEO have to turn to the VP of marketing and say, well, I'll let you know, <laughs> Tom handle this? Yeah. Whose fault is that? Yeah, yeah. So confidence comes about because you can demo your product. You mm -hmm. really know the competition. Mm -hmm. You really know the market. Yeah. You really understand the guts of how your product or service works. So it's getting down and dirty, basically, in all <laughs> facets of your business. Life right? is down and dirty. <laughs> it is. It is. It, yeah. it really is. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Um, I've also heard that it could be harder for women to network with venture capitalists. How can we overcome the resistance of others and leave a positive and lasting impression? Well, again, you know, venture capitalists aren't looking for friends. No. <laughs> That's to, a good point. I hate to tell you. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Uh, so it, it's, it's like, I come back to it, show them a path to make money. Okay. 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 You don't really need to good. be friends. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Truly, you will not be friends. <laughs> okay. So holding that focus of what your intent is, rather than trying to make people like you, that would be a great way to do. For a venture capitalist is a very, very simple beast. Okay. Okay. It's more like Jerry Maguire. Just show me how to make money. Okay. I mean, okay. really. Now, that that may be an overstatement. You know, it's not yeah. that transactional. That but it is much closer to, well, what I don't want is I don't want people going away thinking, well, geez, I'm a woman, I won't get funded. Mm. It, it, you, you're going to fail. Preclude, yeah. you, you will fail. It doesn't preclude you. No, it, yeah. not at all. And yeah. if you believe it does, even if it does preclude you, you shouldn't believe it precludes you. Got it. You. Yeah, I mean, got it. I mean, okay. you should think of... Um, you should think of professional sports, really. Yes. Professional sports is a very good analogy. So, roughly 3,000 companies are funded a year by venture capitalists. A year. Okay? Yes. So, the first step is, are you truly a venture capital deal? Yes. And I use that in quotes. So, a venture capital deal is something that, without being on cocaine, you can imagine that this company might someday do hundreds of millions of dollars of business. Yes. Okay? Yes. So it's difficult to conceive of a restaurant doing hundreds of millions of dollars of business. Yeah. It's difficult to conceive of a company that has uh, custom-made socks doing hundreds of millions. And, and I would say this to a male entrepreneur too, that yeah. you know, if you think you're going to create a restaurant, a garment uh, store, a web design company, yeah. you know, venture capitalists, they're all looking for the next Google. Yeah. That's the standard. Yeah. Google. Yeah. So Cisco. It has to scale yeah. Up, right. So yeah. if you're if you are a man or a woman and you're starting a restaurant and you go to venture capitalists and you get rejected, mm. don't say oh, I got rejected because I was a woman. Gosh. A male chef would have gotten funded. It's not true. Got venture it. capitalists aren't interested in restaurants. If a venture capitalist funds a restaurant, it's because a venture capitalist has so freaking much money that they took a liking to you and they like your style of food and they want to be able to say to their friends, I'm part owner of that restaurant, I can get you in any time. It's not because they're going to take it to the partnership and say, listen partnership, we have to invest $5 million because I think that that restaurant that specializes in waffles is going to go public because it ain't. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, point taken. So point taken. one, the initial test is, is it a venture capital deal? Now, the irony is many companies that were not quote unquote meant for venture capital turn out to be huge successes. Okay. Yeah. And so that's because you started as a web design firm. Lo and behold, you built a tool that helped you design webs sites better and lo and behold pretty soon people were asking for the tool more than your website right. so you made the tool commercial and next thing you know you know you're auto desk okay yeah, yeah, yeah. hallelujah but in, in that scenario what happened was a product a, a one of hundreds of flowers bloomed yes. and and you could make the case that when Bill Gates started Microsoft he didn't know what the hell. Do you, th do you think Bill Gates, when he was arrested for speeding in New Mexico or whatever, and he, you know, he sold the first operating system to IBM, do you think he sat there and said, okay, I got the operating system from IBM. 
Next, I'm going to go get phones. Yeah. And then I'm going to get application software. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get an Xbox. I'm yeah. going to dominate games. Yeah. You know, that's the master plan. <laughs> no. <laughs> when Waz was building the first computer, he was thinking, how can I make a breadboard? Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, or a motherboard. Um, that, he wasn't thinking worldwide domination of no. phone, no. pod, pad, and yeah. desktop. Yeah. It evolves. It evolves. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you can't evolve into a billion dollar company. Yes. I'm just saying that at the moment you're raising venture capital, you have to present a picture that without too much hallucination, you could be hundreds of millions of dollars. Gosh. That's plan A. Plan B is you start small, you worry about cash flow, and lo and behold, one day you wake up and hallelujah, you know, you're yeah. the next IBM, Microsoft, Ash, you know, Apple, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But it's not because you know you got that initial funding. No. Uh, it's because you got on a rocket and by God it took off. Yeah. Um, Predestined. Yeah. So so what, you know I'm trying to communicate. You know I've had women pitch me. Yes. And and you know I'll give some advice. First yes, of all, um, don't think you need to play the role. You know, some people come in and they say, well, I have to be a hard ass bitch because men are hard ass. So, you yes, know, hard ass to succeed. So I need to be a hard ass too. It's yes. like, you know, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Okay. People don't like hard ass men too. If a hard ass man got funded, it's because he showed a path to make money. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he would have probably succeeded anyway if yeah. he wasn't a hard ass. Yeah. Um, so it's very uh, tempting to confuse correlation and causation. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. That's a really good point. Um, so don't don't believe that you need to play this bitch role. Okay. okay. On the other hand, don't believe you need to play the ditzy role either. You know the yeah. the hot woman, babe. You know baby whatever. Child, yeah. Oh yeah, that also is like. No one's gonna trust that. Yeah. yeah. So basically, be what you are. I mean, just Very good. dress dress as. And I would tell this to a man too, and yes. the book says this too, you know, yes. dress as an equal. Yes, you, you know, right. Don't dress over, don't dress yes. under, just whatever. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, I would not play the bitch card, I would not play the ditzy card, yes. I would not play the hot babe card. Yes. I mean, play the card that you have a great freaking product. How simple is that? And it also implies a lot more confidence because you're at home, aren't you? Yes. You're coming from who you are. Yes. Yeah, very good, very um, good. So I, I guess, you know, this is kind of like the uh, homeopathic pitch. I mean, yes. just, you yes. know, yes. be yourself. Yes, you know? yes, uh, yeah, very good, thank you.